एवरीवन आई एम चिराग एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टूल नोन एज के व्हिच वाज रिसेंटली मेड पब्लिक बाय गूगल सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज के सो के स्टैंड्स फॉर नो योर डेटा व्हिच इज अ टूल टू हेल्प इंजीनियर्स रिसर्चर्स एंड डिफरेंट रिलेवेंट टीम्स टू बेसिकली एक्सप्लोर डेटा सेट्स विजुअली एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा सेट इट ऑल्सो हेल्प दम टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द डेटा मिटिगेट बास ऑफ एनी then it also helps them to improve quality of data and understand the correlation among them and it also help them to check whether the data set is balanced across various attributes or not and much more like that so guys uh, currently the know your data tool supports image data sets only which are supported by tensorflow data sets api and that is around 70 data sets and apart from that in future releases text and tabular data sets will be added over here so stay tuned to this uh, website that is knowyourdata-tfds.google.com okay so guys here as you can see on my screen here we have list of data from which we can explore so let's pick one data set and let's have a look at uh, different things that it provides so i will pick coho caption so here all you need to do is to click on explore in kyd so click on that So guys here we have three tabs on the very top that is stats relations and item so we will go through each of the tab at the very high level in some time so here in under the stats tab here we have two windows so on the left side we have the source features and the derived features and on the right side we have the item browser so here uh, we will go through each of the component at the very high level so the very first thing that we have is the source features So basically, the source features provide the histogram of uh, various attributes, and the good part is that everything is interactive. So if you select something over here, or if you click on something over here, interactively the right side would be updated accordingly. Okay. So let's say if I want to uh, select this uh, value, it says a man riding a wave on top of a surfboard, and the count is one sixty five. So if I click on that. so here as you can see here we have the relevant images highlighted that is uh, it's showing 165 images of uh, overall data set or overall items right so this image is basically satisfy whatever filter that we have uh, selected from the uh, left pane okay so this is basically your item browser and here you can basically query the data using this filters on the top so if i click on the select and i can filter it by anything okay so let's say i want to know if there is a uh, faces in any of the images so if i select this that has faces then it will uh, label it right like has faces is false for some images and if there is a face then as you can see here it says has faces as true okay so this is how you can basically query your data set right and it, you can also automatically draw the bounding box so here as you can see if you click on this uh, icon it says automatically draw by the selected filters and then here we have group by so you can basically apply this filter to to group the images by anything right for example caption id or caption text but apart from that one of the derived features in know your data is similarity cluster right so if you scroll down to the very bottom so here you would be able to see the similarity clusters and this will basically uh, group visually similar images together right so if i select this then as you can see here we have the cluster id that is uh, 820 and it has five images so if i click on this so here we will be able to see five images okay so this is how you can play around with the item browser and query your data accordingly as per your requirement so now let me clear this filter and let's have a look at the other component so here we have all the histograms of of different attributes so this was basically the source features now apart from source features uh, it also provides the automated derived features like you know de label detection face detection image properties like uh contrast exposure sharpness followed by the xf data okay so here we have the uh, cloud vision so it basically automatically compute text labels for images such as objects events concepts and scene labels for images using the cloud vision api so here under cloud vision everything you see is interactive so let's say i wanted to uh, look out for the face probability which is which should be uh, greater than equal to 0.91 right so i can uh, apply this filter and on the right side the item browser will uh, show me the relevant images based on the filter right so here as you can see here we have the uh, particular images with the face probability greater than 0.91 okay so here again i can remove this uh, cluster filter so as you can see the relevant images are being uh, displayed 
now apart from this uh, we can also apply multiple filters so here we have one filter that it says face probability should be greater than 0 0.91 okay now let's say i want to apply some label filter so let's say i want table so another filter that i have applied is for table and as you can see the relevant images are being uh, displayed in the item browser okay so basically you can play around with this okay now let me clear this filters now after cloud vision we have image content metadata so here it uses pil to compute attributes so here we have aspect ratio mode and whatnot then uh, we can look out for image quality right so here we have the sharpness score and the um, brightness quality with some values in range okay and then we have image xf data so within XF data, as you can see here, we have 19 features for this data set, right? Uh, ranging from contrast and, you know, uh, exposure program, flash, gain control and whatnot. And then finally, we have the built-in KYD signals. So it highlights the media extension and the media types uh, for this data set. So it says we have one PNG image and rest of the images are in JPEG format okay and all the media types are image so these are the source features and the derived features you can explore and play around with it and on the right side we have the item browser and using that we can query the data okay so now let's say you want to learn more about a single image from this data set so let's pick up this one so as soon as you click on this image it will redirect you to the item tab right and the item tab will show all the source and uh, derived features associated with the specific item in the data set along with its metadata okay so you can basically select any of the image to explore source and derived features and its metadata so as you can see here we have all the information for this image that is available within uh, know your data tool so here we have different uh, features and its values ranging from the cloud vision api then the coco captions right here we have the image metadata image quality and the kyd signals and here finally we have the similarity cluster information as well now here within item tab uh, we basically browsed individual image or individual signals uh, but know your data also allows you to explore the relation between two different signals or two different images right under the relations tab so here basically we can select multiple features like feature 1 and feature 2 to basically understand the relation between two signals or, or two data points right so here let's say uh, we will select captions words activities right and in the feature 2 uh, we will select the derived feature uh, that is derived from cloud vision that is label so now it will basically compute the relation between these two signals right that is caption words activities and the label so now on the left side you would be able to see the labels that we have selected and on the right side you will be able to see the captions words activities and that is coming from the source features now here each individual block indicates either a positive or a negative correlation between two specific values right along with the strength of that correlation so here a blue color means the positive correlation and orange color means the negative correlation now let's have a look at one of the correlation between uh, ingredient and cooking right so as you can see it is highlighted in blue it means that it is positively correlated now here if we click on this then item browser will get updated with the relevant images on the right side as you can see now if we hover over this cell then it says actual count right it it means to say that there are 256 images with cooking and ingredients okay so as soon as we selected this cell on the right side you would be able to see that it says showing 256 of uh, whatever items so actual count is 256 so actual images that exist with cooking and the ingredients are 256 okay and then we have expected count so basically expected count is 76 and here the actual count is 3.38 times more than expected count hence we can say that uh, both the signals are positively correlated now here you might want to ask that how expected count is computed so the expected count is computed based on the global counts of ingredients and cooking assuming that there is no correlation between those signals okay so that is how the expected count is computed but apart from that you can play around with this baseline column to basically uh, compute the uh, expected count so if i uh, let's say select cooking right and now if i filter this by ingredients right so here you would be able to see that the correlation is highlighted in white and it's uh, kind of 1x right now here the actual count and the expected count are same 
Right. So while we select the random chance and basically uh, assume that there is no correlation between these two signals, right? And based on that, it basically uh, compute the expected count. And then we have smoothing over here. So basically you can play around with this to rank statistically significant entries first. So you can basically learn more about these uh, parameters uh, by going through the know your data documentation. Right. So guys, this is how you can basically compute the correlation between two signals or the two data points. So guys, uh, that is all I wanted to cover as a part of this video. And this is the very, very high level overview of what it provides. Right. So we basically went through the stats tab where we had a look at the item browser, then the source features and the derived features. Right. Then we had a look at the uh, item tab right where we can basically learn more about the individual signal or individual data point right irrespective of source and the uh, derived features right along with the metadata and then we had a look at the relations where we can basically compute the correlation between two signals or the two data points and then as a part of the result we have a uh, cells and different colors right which basically uh, depicts the positive and the negative correlation so guys that's all for now until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time